Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys today. Uh, we are doing a Lavoonian uh, video. I've seen a bunch of names pass around. Some people were saying, uh, what was it, Balavian, uh, Haluvian for hound. Uh, I like Lavoonian. I think that it flows the best off of the tongue. Um, but we are going to do a couple of Lavoonian strategies. Y'all can see I have a little farming base that I made real quick the other day. Um, I'm going to farm for about a week or so and uh, try and just upgrade some stuff, uh, especially walls and whatnot just for this YouTube All-Stars push that's uh, kind of already started. I'm not going to drop down into Crystal or anything, um, or at least I don't plan on it. So we'll just stay around here. We're using Lavoonian right now, and uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys. Uh, so I have two attacks right now that uh, I already won. Got Both of them got 10 stars. This one's hilarious. I was just messing around. It doesn't have any balloons in it. So this is like a... Look, uh, hog, hog, hog lava, lava hog, lava hog minion. <laughs> I don't know. We can come up with a name for it. You guys can comment down below. But the, uh, I think that if I had had more hogs and less minions, that this would have worked really well because so many of the defenses in this game attack air as well. There's Tesla. There's Archer towers. There's air defenses. There's Expos. There's um, Inferno towers. There's Wizard towers. Everything besides the mortar and the cannon attack air troops uh, as long as the inferno or as long as the expos are pointed up, obviously. So I really do think that if you can distract the defenses uh, with the uh, with the lava hounds, that you can come in maybe with one, two heal spells. So you have two heal spells, two rage spells, and your hogs can just crush the entire base. And then really you could just have some minions to fly in or you could have some uh, archers or any other, I don't know, troop to come in and just clean clean house and the rest of that. You can see we're about to get 50% on uh, that right there, so we're just going to end it. We got an okay amount of loot plus a bonus, obviously. Uh, so there's that one, but that's kind of a strategy that I'm thinking might work pretty well. Right now I'm not too worried about trophies, but I am still kind of exploring some of these strats before I do get to the point to where I am worried about trophies again. We made it to champs. It was fun. I needed a break though because I was pushing for a long time um, and I don't really like pushing that much. But let's go ahead and we'll attack. We'll break the shield. We'll do one of those hog attacks in this video as well if you guys want. Um, well, I guess I can't really tell if you guys want or not <laughs> since we this isn't like a live stream or anything. Um, but let's see if we can find some okay loot. I definitely want to try and find some elixir for us to help with training up all of these troops and whatnot. So hopefully we can find one with a good amount of elixir. This one isn't too bad and it has a good amount of dark elixir as well. I don't really know where the elixir is though. Let's see, I think we might be able to find a little bit more. It's been a struggle lately finding good loot. Uh, since people can upgrade walls with Elixir now, it's kind of making it... <clears throat> no, it's not kind of. It's definitely making it challenging to to get a good amount. So why don't we... Does he only have one Inferno Tower? Nice. So he's only got one Inferno Tower. So let's we're going to attack from up here at the top. Um, my spells are not done. So we need to go back and finish those. <laughs> Dang it, I really wanted to attack that base. All right, so we're going to finish those. Let's go back on an attack. Gosh, that one would have been great because he only had one Inferno Tower. Um, but we'll go ahead and just skip through this. And once I find a base, I will be back with you guys. So uh, why don't you all just hold tight and hopefully it's not this one. Nope, it's not. Okay, so I'll see you guys in just a couple seconds, all right? All right, guys, so this base, we can definitely get the uh, the two-star, or not the two-star, on the uh, the one-star, so I'm definitely going to attack it. <clears throat> We're going to drop off our rage spells right up here so that our, our lava hounds can get into it, and it'll rush them through. And then we're going to drop off some of our balloons up here, and then let's go ahead and uh, drop off the rest of our balloons right down here as they work their way in. And then we're going to drop another rage right here in the middle, we're going to spread out some of our balloons up here or some of our minions up there. Um, this guy's got a bunch of troops in his clan castle, which really sucks. Um, 
but we should still definitely be able to get the star on this. I really, really, really need to take out all of these guys. So we're just going to drop a lightning spell right there, take them out, and then we have, uh, let's see what we can do. This is definitely not in range, and neither is, there is all of that elixir in the middle still. Um, <clears throat> so why don't we, why don't we actually do this? Well, first I want to make sure that we can get all these percentages. Is this out of range? All right, good. So that's out of range of that Archer Queen. Um, we are going, so is that right there? So that's going to be enough. Let's get our, come on. No, don't go for the gold. Go for the gold! We're going to just uh, let them fight for a little bit, use her ability right there so she can take out that queen. I really want her to shoot after, what is she shooting at now? All right, please go for the, that elixir. Okay, never mind. She's just going to go for the wall. We're going to end the battle right there. <laughs> so we got 20,000 plus the 75,000, whatever. That's 100,000. Um, didn't go as planned, but we did get the trophies from it, which uh, obviously gave us, <clears throat> gave us a little bit extra loot. So let's go ahead and train up. I think we're going to do... So that one was Lavoonian. I guess this will be <clears throat> kind of more a video on... Well, I can show you all... Uh, Lavunian attack as well right here that we got 56% on um, and an okay amount of loot on it but why don't we in this next one so these will be Lavunian stretch and then let's see how this hog lava thing works so let's call it the uh, hog rider let's see we have minions hog riders and uh, lava hounds so it could be um, I don't know it's hard, it's hard to come up with names on the spot. <laughs> hog Rider, so Hog, we can have Ho in it, H-O for the Hog, and then Hound, so Ho-Ho, uh, Hog, Hound, Minion, Ho-Ho, Minion. <laughs> I don't freaking know. So you can see we got 47% 40, right there. Haven't even had to use our King or our Queen, but we are going to drop them over here <clears throat> to get some of that gold for us. And... Go to work. Come on, queen, do work. So she's going to get us all that gold right there, which is great. And uh, we weren't able to get to the rest of that elixir or anything. And that uh, freaking Inferno locked on to her. So whatever. That wasn't too bad. Um, the, like I said, the loot's kind of annoying right now. But let's go ahead and train this up. So let's see what we can do. Why don't we have... Let's do four. We'll do four lava hounds. Oh, or should we do three? Let's do three lava hounds. And then let's try and do um, like 20, is 20 hogs enough? 20 hogs might be enough if we have three of those guys running around and we drop off some heal spells. So let's finish that up and then let's go with, let's do a couple of archers. Let's do like 20 archers just that we'll save for the end to pick stuff off. And then let's do the rest uh, minions. 14 is such a weird number. Let's let's get 15. So we'll get rid of So we'll have 18 archers. <laughs> All right. And then let's do uh, two rage spells, two heal spells for the hogs, and then one lightning. And let's see how this works. Okay. So we're not going to pick the hardest base on this first one, obviously. We also need to make sure that our heroes are up. So let's get our, our queen up for this. And um, we'll go ahead and attack. And let's see. So like I said, we've got... 16, why do we have 16 minions? <laughs> Dang it, I wanted 15. I forgot that one of them was still trained up. So this base has a good amount of elixir in it, which is what we wanted. But his air defenses are freaking annoying. They're on the outside, and we don't want that. We want the, we want the lava hounds to go towards the center of the base to distract. Um, gosh, but that, I mean, that one had good loot, but it's, it's whatever. Let's see if we can find one where... The air defenses are a little closer to the center so that our uh, lava hounds stay up and can distract more people because on that last one, the strat really wouldn't have been shown how well it works because the hounds would have stayed towards the outside and it wouldn't have distracted as many troops. So we need to find one where they are a little bit closer to the inside and uh, they can distract that way. So um, let's see, this one might be pretty good to attack. 33 trophies in it. I don't I don't like that style of base. So that looks like there's there's probably way too many bombs in there for our hogs to deal with. Uh, so you have to be really careful in the bases that you choose, obviously. 
that's uh, pretty much a given. <laughs> but we'll go ahead and keep searching, and I'll be back with you guys in just a couple seconds once I find a base that uh, I think this strategy will work well on. Again, guys, we're just kind of learning this together. Um, I think that it's always fun doing live strats that, I don't know, we don't know whether they'll work or not. This one could be good. The air defenses are kind of in the middle on this one. Um, let's go ahead and let's try this one out. So we'll drop one, we'll drop one rage right here and one rage right here, and we'll drop off our lava hounds, and then we're gonna drop off our hogs, and they're gonna go in there and do work. So let's go ahead and heal, and we'll need to heal up there as well. We can go ahead and do this. Bring another heal in here. The majority of our hogs are down over there on the side, but we can drop off a whole bunch of archers up here. And um, it looks like we got in pretty far with them, actually. So we'll just let our archers go to work <coughs> and deal a good amount of damage. We should definitely be able to take out this archer tie right here with our archers as well. And how are we looking? So some of our, some of our lava hounds are still blowing up. And we've got enough time for sure. Let's see what else we can do. So the Lava Hounds only took out one of the air defenses. But again, like I said, we've got time and our defenses are doing, or our defenses, our troops are doing work right now. Is this out of range? Yes. Is this out of range? Nice. So, oh, this will be out of range too. Nice. Let's see what else we can take out. Again, guys, this is live. I've never done this strap before, so we are testing it to see how well it works. We're at about 40% right now, and we've got a couple of archers up here at the top. Let's go ahead and uh, drop off some minions up here, as well as our archers to take out those free buildings. And then, honestly, we can probably just use our queen down here in the corner and she can get the rest of that percentage for us <clears throat> just by herself so we'll go ahead and let her go to work you can see that one minion over there on the right is doing a great job for us and i know this base isn't like super maxed out or anything but as you saw the hogs did a great job of clearing out practically this entire side um, which helped a lot i really want to see if we can get some of this elixir from these uh mines right here yeah so that's definitely going to help out 52% and the cannon is about to go down so we should be able to get some of that dark elixir as well. No, queen, don't shoot that. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of gold left up there at the top that we could get, but let's see what our queen does when she breaks in here. Uh, good, so she's still, she's in range of that expo that's pointed down. Um, we can go ahead and end the battle right there. And you can see, wow, we got 193,000 gold, 142,000 elixir, plus the bonus, eight trophies. Um, I want to see what happened to the hogs because I wasn't really watching it too well live. So uh, let's replay that real quick and see how the hogs actually did when they got in there. I want to see which defenses they were able to take out and whatnot. So we drop both of our rage spells there. We get our hounds in there. Here go the hogs. So the hogs take out the air defense right there, the cannon. We drop a heal on them right there. Obviously, that's not going to do too much with that Inferno Tower on them. Um, and we drop the other one right there. Yeah, so they can't they can't get healed up from that, but they do take out that one Expo up top or that one Inferno Tower. And they single-handedly cleared that entire top half of that base. So they do enough damage to do really, really well at that. And just to, I don't know, kind of clear it out. As you can see, that whole area is super clear. I know this is kind of a random video. Um, but again, it's just me trying out a new strat with you guys with the Lava Hounds. I think that this could be a pretty viable strat depending on uh, where the person's Inferno Towers are. It might have been better for me to drop off some of my Lava Hounds over here on the right. and Or some of my Lava Hounds and some of my uh, Hog Riders over on the right side. So that we could have taken out this whole portion and this whole portion. And I think that that would have worked wonders for us. But that's going to be it for this strategy, guys. If y'all want to tweak that up a little bit, go ahead and do it. Uh, comment down in the comments <laughs> whether or not it works for you. How many minions you use, how many hogs you use, how many lava hounds you use. Uh, you could put it up to four lava hounds if you wanted to distract everything for a little bit longer. Uh, but again, that is up to you guys. And yeah, I think that, that worked pretty well. I'm excited about it. 
I don't know how it's going to work up higher in Masters and Champs, but we'll see. But that's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate y'all's support and everything. We are moving up, guys. We're going to be at 200000 before I'm even ready for it. So that's going to be exciting. Going to have some special stuff for y'all at 200000 for sure. Uh, so yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, and make sure that you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.